Hello guys! In this video I'm going to show you my portfolio. I will make an update because some changes were made in the past several months since my last update. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about my plans for the next year in regards to my investment on eToro. If you are interested in this information, then please keep watching this video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. As always, this is Anastasia. On this channel I talk about investing and especially investing for beginners. Finally, my next video about eToro. I know that I have a lot of subscribers who invest through eToro and who like my videos about eToro, so I hope you'll enjoy this one as well. Especially because since my last update I have actually made some proper changes to my profile. So let's start. Okay, so this is how my portfolio looks right now. I have $27,348 invested. You know, it's very good that I'm making these videos because I tend to forget myself where I was a month ago or three months ago, and then I can watch back my own videos and then I have an idea of what progress I made in the last year. So today it's been up $10 and I'm filming this on the 1st of January. And so far, so I have invested $23,000 $23,500 and my profit is $3,708 which comes to 16%. So I am up this year but this is not a big deal because a lot of people are up this year, it's been a mental year. So the question is where we will find ourselves in 2022. I have $55 of cash available, this money I still don't know how to use it and look at my graph. So in the last month it's been sort of all the time the same. Now let's look at three months graph. Oh what happened here? Minus $4,900. I needed this money. Okay so I took some of the money out and this was the only withdrawal that I've done this year. And since then, of course, my money has gone down a little bit, of course, as expected. If you look at my six month graph, uh, we will see that I, besides this withdrawal here, I didn't put any money in. This here, 58 cents, I think is just from dividends. But here we see that in the last six months, I minus 10% my return on investment. So this should help you understand how not accurate really eToro statistics are, because it counts in this withdrawal, which wasn't a loss from investment. It was just me needing the money and me relocating the money somewhere else. Okay, and now let's look at my 12 months graph and we will see here what I've been doing in this year. So I started the year with $4,100 and then I made uh, several quite big deposits. For example here I invested nearly $7,000 and very soon I invested $5,000 again. The other investments weren't that big, they were about $1,000 or $500 and they were the days when someone went public, for example Coinbase went public, so I invested some money and straight away bought Coinbase shares with that money, which in hindsight I wouldn't have done because it turned out to be a horrible idea because I lost a lot of money on my Coinbase investment. And same goes for the majority of the stocks and shares that I picked individually. Well, anyway, I finished this year in profit, which I'm very happy about, but the main gain that I got from this year in regards to Toro is experience. Honestly, I think I'm not going to repeat a lot of the mistakes I made this year in the next year. Well, I hope so. Now let's look at my portfolio. Right, I still invest the majority of my money into Jay Nemesis and he still makes 17.5 or 17.65% um, which comes to $2,167, which I think is a very good result. And yes, he didn't outperform S&P 500 this year, which is the fund that the majority of popular investors on Utoro are trying to outperform. Next holding is Tesla shares. I invested $3,000, near $3,500. And the cool thing is that I made almost 58% uh, return on investment through investing into Tesla, uh, which came to $2,018 of profit. It's been an incredibly good and crazy year for Tesla. And again, the question is, is it going to continue to grow in the next year? 
I don't know. I think Tesla may fall, but I think in the long run, I mean, in about five years, this company definitely is going to show some very good results. Because it's a blue chip company, I'm going to hold it. I'm not going to sell or trade Tesla. If I see a big fall, I might consider investing into Tesla individually. But right now, the price is too unstable. The price depends on so many factors, on every single word that Elon Musk says. So I'm hoping to get some more stability in 2022 from Tesla. Well, BlackBerry Limited is minus 52%. I didn't invest much into it, so it doesn't make a big difference on the scale of my whole portfolio. Um, if you've been following my channel, you know that every single update on the Zero profile I make, I talk about BlackBerry and some other meme stock that I invested into on the same day and all of them showed bad results. So here we are, it's still very bad. NEO, which I invested in too late, is still minus 48%. Again, I didn't invest much into it. Coinbase is minus 38%. And this is the bad investment that I was talking about at the beginning of the video. I was literally several times a step away from withdrawing my funds from Coinbase, but every time something stopped me. Now, when I'm making this video, I still think I should take this money out and reinvest it into something else. But maybe there is a potential for it to grow just a little bit more before I actually decide to do it. Bio Nanogenomics is minus 66%. For a very long time, I was in profit on this investment. And I was hoping that it was going to keep on growing, but obviously it didn't. Nikola is minus 66%. Nothing to talk about here. You know, every single update is the same. Airbnb is plus 14%. Bitcoin is plus 9%, but I have very little invested into Bitcoin. And Dogecoin is minus 76%. Baltic Seal plus 10%. And I'm going to stick with him, I'm not going to change this popular investor. Yeperkirk bond is plus 4% and Amar Sin, I'm still copying him, plus 0.14%. Amar Sin has been green since I started copying him. He was at some point more than 10% up. So even though now it came back to basically zero, I'm still hoping that it's going to recover. His profile is going to recover. I don't mind waiting. So in regards to my actions that I've taken in this year, you can see in my history on my profile that I made 1,292 trades. But of course, the majority of these trades were taken on my behalf by the popular investors who I copy, because it would take me a million years to make this number of trades myself. And uh, 59, almost 59% of the trades were profitable. If you look at my personal stats, you will see that uh, it wasn't a very good year and the general return an investment in 2021 was 12% for me. The majority of red months were from me trying to make my personal trades though and me investing into, into individual stocks and shares. And honestly, I think if I didn't invest into Tesla and if Tesla didn't have such a crazy year, I think I would end up in red on eToro. That's if I'm completely honest. But I still have four people copying me and here we go. I myself made 31 trades and almost 65% of them were profitable. The last thing that I wanted to mention in this video is that I got rid of two people, two popular investors who have been copying for a very long time. One of them was Olivier Danvel, the guy who was investing into Forex. I stopped copying him solely for the fact that he didn't invest much money and I had about two and a half thousand invested into him, which at the end I thought was just lying there not working. But if I have some extra cash that I will not know where to put, I will probably invest this cash into Olivier Danville again, because whatever anyone says, he is the safest popular investor that I've seen on eToro. Yes, his results are not very high and the return on investment that he shows cannot compete with some other popular investors. But when it comes to safety, I think he is the safest. And the second person who I got rid of is Wesley. I don't want to say that Wesley is a bad popular investor, but since I invested into him and for all the period that I was holding my money in him, which was about six or seven months, I never saw a green result. Okay, in conclusion to this video, I want to say that I don't think my results are that bad. 
Definitely they could be better, much better, but not everything depends on me. A lot of things depend on the market and I was lucky several times with eToro, for example with Tesla. I really got to understand investing much better than what I used to and I definitely don't feel so adventurous and crazy about big gains and big returns, which is what I was really hoping for and believing that I could achieve myself at the beginning of 2021. Guys, let me know what you think about my update and my results. Share your results if you don't mind. If you have any recommendations for some new popular investors, because in the next year I want to find a new person to start copy, since I got rid of the two ones in the last year, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for your time and attention today. Bye-bye.